that going to work? I don't know if this is going to work or not. I've forgotten my little stand. I've got the, the phone propped up on the uh, on the dashboard. Oh, there it goes. Told you. Is it working? Is it recording, bud? <clears throat> try this again. I just tried it a minute ago and it fell over, so hope you guys aren't looking at my nose. Hopefully my nose is clean. What's up, peoples? Hey, listen, I just had a huge run-in with family, um, not family, what's it called? Uh, Anytime Fitness. The one in Faustin, Minnesota. Wow, I just cannot pe believe the owner is that rude. Uh, if you're wondering, her name is Mona. She's the owner. Like, seriously, like, the way she treated me was just horrible. Um, so surprised. You'll see the video. I'm going to put the video after this um, so you can see everything that happened. I had to record it. She kicked me out of the gym, and I, I went back in. I said, you know, I have to record this because I can't believe you're treating me like this. And uh, she still, even after I explained my situation of being a disabled veteran and my limitations, she still wouldn't budge. And it's really disappointing to be treated like that. And, and you guys know me in my videos, you know. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. But I'm the nicest guy. But if you bully me, I'm not going to be bullied. And so I, I stood up for myself. I mean, didn't cause, a, you know, any confrontation or anything. I, I just recorded everything because you know, other people shouldn't be treated like this either. I wanted, I wanted to get it out there. And I want uh, people to see how this owner of the Anytime Fitness and Foss and... Minnesota is treating people like she like she literally came at me like, several times like she like was looking for a confrontation it was it was kind of weird like I've, she was aggressive I, I was really surprised um, and she kept repeating herself in a very aggressive manner and I, so I didn't understand I mean it didn't make sense to me like I got clean shoes you know clean brand new uh, out of the washing machine type shoes on like you'll see in the video they're sparkling clean sparkling white and you guys know me how I keep my shoes I mean being military I keep my shoes there's no mud on my shoes except my work boots you guys know that but I wasn't wearing work because I was work boots I was wearing my uh, new Pumas and um, well they're not brand new but they you know they they look brand new like the way I keep my shoes they always look brand new so I should probably state that. Um, but the point is, is like to everybody else, they're brand new and no one else would question except her. And I talked to another uh, friend of mine who's manager of a different club, told him the situation. And he's like, he's like, I understand her point that the, the machines get dirty and things like that. But if your shoes aren't dirty, then there's no harm. If it's not muddy out. It's not raining out. It's not snowing out. There's no harm. And if there was harm, I would have just gave you a towel and said, hey, would you clean your shoes off for me? Like, he's like, the point is to serve. You're supposed to be serving the clients, you know? The gym is there to serve people, not <laughs> the other way around. And I think this this owner is very confused about, about what her business is. She's in customer service. She's in customer care. She's in a business that involves taking care of people, not about rules. I mean... Maybe she should be a drill sergeant and go be a drill sergeant or something like that. If she, you know, if that's the way she wants to live. But she shouldn't treat people like that. And even after I explained to her my my problems with my nerve damage and my all my surgeries and everything like that, she still wouldn't budge. She would not give me a reasonable accommodation. Which my buddy said that the reasonable accommodation in that situation would have been if my shoes were dirty to give me a towel and help me help me clean them off or clean them, you know, give it to you and say, Can you please clean your shoes off. That's totally reasonable on everybody's part. I just, I just cannot believe I, I'm, I'm still in shock that she would act that way, and and I'm just supposed to take it. You know, she got to bully me, and she feels good about herself, I guess. But we don't like bullies, do we? So, bullies, uh, bullies can go bully themselves, I guess. We're not going to take it. Called uh, corporate, complained to them. See, I'm. Um, very curious to see what they're going to do and how they're going to handle it. Um, she shouldn't have. If they care about how 
their clients are being treated and if they care how veterans are being treated, especially just disabled veterans, you know, if they care, then they should probably remove their, their name from her club and she should just have her, she should just call it Mona's Fitness Club. Mona's Rules. <laughs> Mona's Fitness Rules. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, watch the video and, um, you know, give me your feedback. What do you guys think? You know, like, I would have wiped my shoes off if they were dirty. You know, anything, anything. I would have done anything. I, I drove 45 minutes to work out. And now I got to drive 45 minutes back home with no workout. That sucks. All right, guys. Love you all. Be good to each other. No bullying. Bye. Hey, I got to get this on recording. So I got brand new shoes. And you're kicking me out because I'm not bringing... Another pair of shoes when it's not even raining outside. Everybody see that? No rain outside at all. Are you serious? Are you serious? You know what? You just wore shoes outside in the Two dirt. steps. In the dirt. What, what dirt? What dirt? What dirt? What mud? You know what? Why do you have to act like this? Why do you? Because they're they're brand new have, shoes. Yeah, but I've managed clubs, and you can't treat clients like this. We're you not cannot. Do... You anyway. We're just if it was muddy and it was snowy outside, I understand, but it's completely. I went from the garage. Still there's still gravel out there, and it gets into my equipment. It gets into the the belt of the treadmill. It gets onto the elliptical, and it ruins them. I mean, it's very hard on the equipment, and that's why we have these rules. And they are rules that are there any time. It's not just us as well. So hey, it's so easy. Two seconds. Just... It's not a big deal. Else, does it? I just think it's absolutely absurd well, that it's brand new shoes that I'm going to show everybody. No mud, no gravel, brand new. And you're telling me I can't wear these shoes in here. Well, there's dirt on the ground. I can see they just come off these shoes. So, anyway, that's the rules here. So, it's pretty simple. This follow them. I mean, you don't have to belong to this gym. That's okay. Okay. But those are our rules. I'm sorry. That's the way it works. Everybody else follows them. There's no exception. Okay. Well, do well then. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm just sending send this to corporate. So tell them. Go right ahead. I will. I have no problem with that. Yeah. I'm just, you know, those are our rules here. Uh, there are many times that when we're not here, we walk in and there's dirt everywhere. We have to clean it up. So if I tell you I have nerve damage in my left leg and putting on my shoes is the hardest part of my daily routine, you wouldn't care. You'd tell me I stuff to do it here. I'm being absolutely honest. She knows me. She knows my story. Yes, I see where you're coming from. And we do care about your, you know, your disability too, but... The thing is, you know that you're coming here, and, and that's wonderful, but you can drive the car, you can get in and out of places where... No, I'm telling you, but putting on shoes is the hardest part of my day. Okay, I understand. And it wasn't, I mean, it was service to our country, so it wasn't just, you know... I'm not, make, I'm not making stuff, this is real. And I thank you for your service, I think that's wonderful. So that's why, I'm like, why should I go through that, it's kind of embarrassing too. Well, I, I, I'm sorry about that. I truly am. I so you're saying I can't work out here though? I'm saying these are our rules. There's no exceptions. These are Even for rules. people with handicaps. You seem like you're walking okay to me. I'm not talking about walking. I'm talking about putting shoes on. Of, and I've also seen you on the ellipticals. So yeah, that's all I can do is the elliptical. Yeah, you ever see me deadlift? See me squat? No. I, I can know. show you my legs. Both my both my legs have been reconstructed. And we can help you with these shoes. That's what we're here for. Yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's, okay. that's, all that's embarrassing. No thanks. Okay, so I think there's enough for this video. I think there's enough for you know get back to. Very, you too, huh? Just a little follow-up uh, commentary after the video. I've watched it like three or four times now. I'd still, I'm still shocked. I mean, she wasn't as aggressive as she first was. Um, I'm not talking about.
the bodybuilder. I'm talking about the owner, which is the one in the gray sweater turtleneck thing. Her name is Mona. She's the owner. She's the one that kicked me out and told me basically, to, she told me I didn't have to work out there. She, oh, she said, I didn't, I don't, I don't, what'd she say? You don't have to have a membership here. You know, like she's starting to take a membership now too, uh, which is fine. You just add it onto the list. I don't care. I'm not going to be bullied. And even after I explained to her the situation, did you see, did you hear them arguing with me about, oh, you're walking? Well, technically I walk with a limp. I'm supposed to walk with a cane. Technically I'm supposed to be in a wheelchair. But I fight, you guys know me, I fight through that. I fight through all that. I'm I'm glad to be walking, you know. But there are certain things that I do in my day to change um, my routine so that it makes it easier for me. Like wearing a clean pair of shoes to the gym that aren't muddy, that aren't dirty, so I don't have to change my shoes when I get there is part of a my routine. You know, that's, that's reasonable in my life, you know. <clears throat> I don't understand why she couldn't see that as being reasonable, you know, or offering me some kind of other um, solution. Like, well, why don't you take this rag and just wipe them off for me just in case. And she's talking about mud and gravel and dirt getting in the machine. And like, there, there's clearly nothing on my shoes. And she's trying to say, oh, look, there's dirt on the floor. Nope. Look at the video again. Slow-mo. There's no dirt on the floor for me. Period. Um, but uh, just dismissive at the end. You see that? That's enough of this video. Like. They're in charge. They're, 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 they're for this view. Whatever. I'm just so upset. I, I just cannot believe even after like I had, I had to fight. This is what, and in fact, it's so weird because I've talked to this bodybuilder before about how people judge us. And I get this all the time. I have a big upper body. You guys see my videos, big arms, big shoulders, big back. You know, I've been doing this for 30 years, but I, nothing in my lower half because I can't, you know, I'm just glad to be walking. So she's trying to tell me she knows me. You're capable. No, you don't know me. You don't know. It's like the, the lady at the uh, corporate told me. She's like, she, I'm not going to tell you her name or anything because uh, HIPAA laws. But she said that she has a condition that you don't know unless you ask her. But she has to do certain things in her life to avoid situations. Like, you know, oh, let's make an example. An epileptic. Let's say an epileptic uh goes to the gym and to get to the gym, you have to go through this strobe light, you know, cause it, uh, for whatever stupid reason they have, the, they have a strobe light at the gym. And in order to get there, get into the gym, you have to go through that. Well, she can't, she'll have a seizure. Well, that's, what are they going to tell her? Oh, you seem to be getting around fine. You get in and out of your car, just fine. You're walking fine. You're not disabled. You know, that's not how disabilities work. They need to, you know, when you own a business, you need to be educated in these things because it's called reasonable accommodation and it's the law, you know, the law does not say anything about having to have clean shoes. It just says, I believe this, I don't know if it's Minnesota, but I know other statutes in other states require you only to have shirts and shoes. You know, that's it. You know, if you're having those, you're fine. You have these other extra rules. Those are your own rules. You know, you got to be prepared to defend them, you know, and that's what they're doing. They're defending those rules. Anyways, I want to wrap it up. It's a shame. It really is a shame that you get treated like this, especially. <clears throat> lost my scar. Uh, especially when, um, you know, you're disabled. You served your country and you're disabled now for the rest of your life. This is my life. This is what I live with. Every day I go through the constant nonstop pain. And my life is, is not. I, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to say I have a horrible life, but it's it's not an easy life. And a lot of veterans that give up, they say, I'm done. I'm checking out. Done. 22 veterans a day. And I get that because I'm in that situation where I feel like I struggle so hard to make it. I struggle. I fight against my body. I fight against the pain. I fight against every day I'm getting worse. And I fight against people like this that, that just judge, that just discriminate. And there's no need for it at all. There's no need. She didn't need to act like this. She should have been, I mean, if it was my business and I cared about, and I had a business, a fitness business because I cared about people, I would have been treating me a lot differently. That's all I'm saying. She didn't need to bully me. She didn't need to treat me like that. And it needs to stop. If she's doing this to other people, it has to stop. So I hope this, I hope this video gets out there and goes viral and that anytime fitness in Faustin gets slammed by corporate because of it.
enough's enough. You know, don't treat people like that. Don't bully people. Serve people. That's what your business is supposed to be about. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Love you all. Be good to each other. Remember, no bullying.